guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be trying out some new Milani lip products that I recently picked up that I'm super excited to test out with you guys. And they came with 12 shades, it runs for $12.49, and basically on their website it mentions it's cruelty free, vegan, it's supposed to hold the pigmentation for 12 hours, transfer proof, it has a creamy, loosey texture, super pigmented, and basically supposed to be really comfortable on the lips. So we're gonna try them out and we're gonna see how they look on, how does it feel on, is essentially, is it actually worth picking up in case you've been eyeing them and hearing all about them too. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Everything will be listed down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos and let's jump on in and try them out. Starting off on our first lip shade, I'm not really sure the name of it. I don't know if it's 10 out of 10, 10 of 10, um, but it's number 120, okay? And it is really, really pretty, guys. I'm very excited to apply this on. It looks so pretty. It looks like a lip color that is totally up my alley. I can definitely see myself wearing this. I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look on. I just feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. You can easily wear this day or night, pair it with so many different nude lip liners, a chocolate brown, a toby brown, like you can do so much with it. It is really nice. The consistency, I'm not gonna lie, feels extremely lightweight like I don't think I've ever tried anything like this that was so pigmented with easily with one swatch so I'm very excited to see you know the whole application process once I apply it on my lips but so far I really like it as for a scent you know I do not pick up a scent to these liquid lipsticks which is fine with me it's not a big deal as for the applicator is nice and spongy it's a dope applicator and so far it's really nice the packaging is really simple very true to the Milani packaging that they have but yeah so far I do not have any complaints you guys and it doesn't seem to dry down too quickly but quickly enough that you can keep it moving and be on the go so I'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on at 10 out of 10 which by the way is described on their website as a warm cinnamon lip shade which I don't really see that but we'll see once we apply it on I'm going to go ahead and start as always in the center of my lips Look at that, you guys. How pretty is that? It's really, really nice. And it's so pigmented. Let me go ahead and press my lips together to see how it transfers over after application. And it does apply on really nicely and pretty evenly. So this is perfect if you just want a light amount, like a little blush of color. I feel like this would be perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish applying this on. 10 out of 10. Girl, it is a 10 out of 10 for me. It is so pretty. Keep in mind that I did apply on two layers of this liquid lipstick because I really wanted, you know, to see how much I was going to love this lip shade. And girl, I love it a lot. It's really, really pretty. I already know this is going to be a lip liner. Not a, li not a lip... 10 out of 10, girl, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I already know that this liquid lipstick is going to sell out because it is just so beautiful. It's just so flattering on, perfect everyday type of lip shade, perfect go-to lip shade. It's gonna go with so many different types of lip liners depending on your personal preference. I absolutely love how comfortable it feels on the lips. It doesn't dry down too quickly. I don't feel like it enhances the fine lines too much, but it looks so nice. It looks so flattering on. It was really easy to layer on after applying it on. So that to me is a big, big plus because it just wasn't feathering it wasn't kind of making it gunky and it feels nice and powdery and stuff like i literally don't have anything on so girl this is a good start i'm very excited let's see what lip shade number two is all about the second lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on this is called iconic number 130 okay and this is described on our website as a rose nude and it is really really pretty i'm not a huge fan of like rose nude lip shades but i feel like it's gonna look so pretty on you can pair it with like a nude lip liner a chocolate brown lip liner a rose tone lip liner girl i'm just giving you ideas okay <laughs> in case you just don't see it but it's just really really nice again the consistency feels exactly the same very lightweight super pigmented and it doesn't dry down too quickly but quickly enough that you know can kind of keep it moving which i love i love that makes it super super easy for us and as far as removing this lip product i'm not gonna lie it did take a little a little rub for it to come off once we get to more of a pigmented lip liquid lipstick i'll show you like how it looks or what the process is like when you're removing it just so you can get a good idea of like how long wearing it is and we'll obviously do a little transfer test too so let's go ahead and dive on in i'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips as always and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on 
And oh, that looks so pretty. You know, the undertone reminds me of a lot, a lot of like Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. It looks really similar. And it's just so pretty. Very pigmented as you can see. Let's go ahead and press our lips together. I'm going to turn this over. Really pretty. I really like it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish applying it on and then we'll we'll give our overall thoughts. Iconic. Now that it's dried down, don't get me wrong, I still really like this liquid lipstick shade, but I wish it, I wish it would stay the color that it looked on when I first applied it on because I feel like it's slightly oxidized. I'm not going to lie, but it's still really, really pretty. Very pigmented. Keep in mind again that I went in and applied on two layers of this liquid lipstick just to, you know, just to judge it up a little bit more, but it looks really, really nice on. You can easily apply a light layer amount, dab it with your finger just to give a little pouty effect. Really beautiful, very natural perfect day or night type of lip shade. And I feel, again, you can play with, with so many different lip liners, even apply on a lighter shade in the center of your lips to give your lip that little ombre pouty effect, which I love to do. I do that all the time, you guys, by the way. <laughs> but so far, I really love it, you guys. Comment down below, what do you guys think of Iconic? Now let's move on to lip shade number three. And this is called a Vibe Girl, and this is number 160, described on their website as a reddish brown liquid lipstick. And it's just really pretty. I feel like it's definitely giving me fall winter vibes. You can easily wear it throughout the entire year for a date night when you're out with your girlfriends or anytime you just want a little pop of color. You can easily pair this with a reddish brown lip liner to match or even a brown or chocolate brown lip liner or, or even just like a taupey caramel lip liner. I think it'll look really pretty too to give it a little bit of contrast, but it's just really nice. That's literally with one swatch, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on in and apply in the center of my lips. Look at that, very, very pretty. And it transfers over really nicely. Let me go ahead and finish applying this on. Vibe, I really like this lip shade, you guys. I'm surprised at how much I really like it because I don't gravitate towards reddish brown lip shades, but this one is like the perfect undertone. They did a really great job formulating this lip shade. It's so, so pretty. Again, it doesn't dry down too quickly. It feels nice and powdery and soft. Like I don't even have anything on my lips. As you can tell, it's already dried down. So I'm going to quickly do a little taste, not a taste test, a kiss test. Taste test. I'm hungry. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see if anything transfers over. So as you can see, Nothing really transfers over. If anything, it's only like the inner lining of my mouth, but that is not something you can really notice. It's not something to really worry about, but this is perfect so far. It's staying on. It looks really pretty on. I still feel like a chocolate brown lip liner or a nude lip liner would look so, so pretty on to complement this lip liner. But so far, the Dofa applicator has come through. I have not used a brush or a lip liner to clean out the edges. I've only used the Dofa applicator. So, so far, I really, really like that. Also, let me show you what it's like removing this lip product because I feel like that's always good to know like how much work it's going to potentially be for you. Obviously, everyone is different. So as you can tell, I have a makeup removing wipe. Let me do a little corner that's clean so you can see for yourself. And I'm just going to go in and see it's just slightly coming off. And so it's not too much trouble, but you definitely have to rub in to remove it. So let's move on to lip shade number four. Now this is called The Moment, okay? And this is described on our website as a dusty rose. And girl, it looks bright, okay? This is not a lip shade for me, but someone out there is gonna appreciate it and it's gonna be very happy that I applied this on. It is pretty bright in my opinion, but if I had to wear it, I think I would pair it with a, a caramel brown nude lip liner just to warm it up because it is pretty bright. And I just, I don't know, something about it, you guys, I don't really gravitate towards lip, lip shades like this. If you do, comment down below, or do you prefer more of like a corally type of, uh, you know, liquid lipstick shade or a more of a nude? Because I'm more of a nude, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that. So far it's not looking as big as I thought it would be. Maybe once it dries down, it'll oxidize slightly or maybe it's because I've only applied on one layer, who knows? But I think if you want to do like a little blush of color, you can definitely do that. It looks really natural and subtle and apply it on like a gloss over. The moment, you know, this lip shade for some reason gave me a little bit more trouble to apply this on. I think I went in probably three to four layers 
trying to clean out certain edges that looked a little patchy, that just didn't look quite right and even. And I'm very meticulous. I want everything to look really nice on. So that is the only thing. But again, I didn't have any issues layering it on, no feathering, nothing like that. It feels comfortable on the lips. It literally feels like I don't have anything on. It feels nice and powdery and soft. I still don't feel like this is a lip shade for me. I liked how it looked on once I first applied it on, applying a very light layer. I think I would go in with my ring finger and pat it throughout my lips and maybe apply on a gloss over just to give a little bit of hydration and those no makeup makeup look days. But again, I would still pair it if I really, really had to pair it with a chocolate brown or caramel nude lip liner shade. I think it would just look really, really nice and make it work more for me, my style of makeup. So, so far I really like it. Now let's move on to our last and final lip shade. If you like a hot pink lip girl, you're gonna end up really liking this one. This is a little bit more pink than the last. And this is described on their website as a berry pink blush shade. This is called Snatched Number 150. And so far, it's really pigmented, you guys. Very moussey and creamy, the texture of it, and very pigmented. So I'm really excited to see how it looks on. Again, I would still pair it with either a pink lip liner if you want to match, a chocolate brown, a nude if you really want to. You can play around with layering lipsticks over just to the center of your lips to give it a little pout. You can get really creative, or even a gloss, a shimmer, whatever you'd like. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in in the center of my lips and apply this on. Snatched. I only have had to apply on two layers of this like, lipstick and I think it's really pretty. I actually feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. Will it be a lip shade that I'll gravitate towards after this video? Honestly, no. I don't think I would ever wear it again, but it is really nice. I still feel like I would pair it with a lip liner to match if I really wanted to, but honestly, I'd to probably pair it with like a taupey or camo brown lip liner just to add a little a little something something to my lips but the formula is really nice you guys i really like how lightweight it is powdery and soft it doesn't feel tacky or sticky it doesn't feather it's really easy to apply on love the doe applicator that it came with i definitely went in and used it to line my lips love that it doesn't have a scent love the size and 12 dollars and 49 cents i definitely feel like it's worth it i'm really curious to see what the other lip shades that i pick up look like just because i'm really impressed by the formula i did they did I think they did a really great job in the color selection and formulating everything. And I'm really impressed. Like this is definitely giving me high end vibes for a liquid lipstick, which I'm very excited about. Very excited to continue wearing them, you guys. Stay tuned for one of my monthly fame fails. If you've tried any of these lip shades, comment down below which one is your favorite. What do you think of the formula? I'd love to know, share your thoughts. Let's have a combo here on this channel. And as always, everything will be listed down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye.